So it is Sunday night. Justin and I both just came home. We both got in the shower. We have been working at his mom's house for two days straight. And you know what? We actually love it. I ain't gonna even hold y'all. We love it, honestly. Uh, Cause it's another project that we get to do. So you guys know we have been taking on these projects. Well, our house because you know, we ain't got it like that. We ain't got the funds like that. Sorry, that's always junky. Yeah, but we like doing it and it's stuff that we do together. Sorry, I'm trying to position y'all. He just texted me marshmallow filled donuts and he can't even eat that. He can't even eat that because he's on a carnivore diet. But anywho, Marley's in the bath. Addie just took a shower. Um, I'm getting Marley's school clothes ready for in the morning. Justin had to run to the store to get uh, like a few stacks and a few Ziploc bags. Uh, I have to repair like three nails because I was working outside and it just got crazy. But I wanted to share with you what we're doing to her house. This is what our house looks like now. And this is the idea that we're gonna do with the house in the, in the end. That's the color paint she liked. She, you guys notice on her house, she has that brown trim and she's like, I got so much of this brown trim out that, that can we just use this? Like, I'm like, no. With that color blue, you are definitely gonna need something other than brown trim, absolutely not. And I'm thinking like black accents, Justin's gonna make some shutters. I'm, I'm really excited. And then we have to work on the inside. We are replacing her floors. And I think a few doors in the house, but I don't know if Justin's gonna be replacing the doors because she actually needs the frame of the door replaced. Um, but yeah, we got a lot of work to do and we actually enjoy it. Like Justin gets off of work and heads back over there to another, I don't see how he does it. He's literally Superman. And I'm just like behind him, like, you need some water? It's lunchtime, you can come take a break. <laughs> But we love stuff like this. I think we like the fact that we we see all of our hard work all of the time and the money and the love that we put into things. And we just love the outcome, especially what we did with our house. And we're not even done with our house, but you know, his parents are getting up in the age and they can't get on ladders and replace siding. I don't know why I didn't think to cut on the light, but yeah, they're up in the age and we don't expect them to get up there replacing siding painting none of that you know i told them because she's she came out she's like i'll help you do something and i was like no 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 for one it's too hot you know you're up in the age i my i wouldn't have my mom out here doing this you know and then i'm really excited about her like her flower bed i was out there picking weeds today and justin's gonna pull all of that stuff out and replace her little flower bed little frame so it's a lot of work but we are really really excited about it so stay tuned for that i'll include like footage of everything that we're doing uh we probably got one more weekend of replacing wood and siding and then the next week we are officially starting on painting oh my god i'm just i'm really ready to see the before and after so yeah <laughs> bathrooms I needed um, cabinets that for the bathroom in the hallway I needed it to be at least 60 to 61 one inches long and every cabinet that I found at either Lowe's I haven't seen any from here that have a price on them they usually run like $400 so what if we do this is 169 what if we do two of these because I needed to paint it anyway. Two of these in the bathroom next to each other to create 60 inches, 70 something inches because they are 36 inches wide. Paint it myself and call it a day and just add the countertop to it because essentially that's what they do anyway. 
They take regular cabinets like this, paint them, and sell them. So that's an option. All right, you guys, so I'm actually headed out to Hobby Lobby. Um, I wanna see if there's anything new out. I went last week or week before last, and they were actually starting to put out a bunch of their Christmas items, and I'm trying to see if there's anything new. I know there's aren't any sale, there aren't any sales, but I'm just curious, cause you know Hobby Lobby starts early with their Halloween, Halloween, holiday decor. And I'm trying to see if there's anything new out that, you know, people are seeing that hasn't gone viral yet. So uh, I do need to grab some lunch because I haven't eaten today. And I filmed a video and my stomach was growling in the video. Weird. So let's head out, grab some lunch, see what's at Hobby Lobby, and maybe do some more Halloween hunting. We shall see. There's two wreaths that I'm obsessed with this fall season. It's this one, and there's one from Target. How much is this? What are we talking? $50. So it'll originally be 30 something. But I think I'm gonna do this color on the door this year. I was wondering where I saw this. So it's a Hobby Lobby. Really like that one. I don't think I've ever seen these. These are really pretty. Look at that. Twenty-four ninety-nine, fifty percent off. So these tree collars look new. I haven't seen these. They have like a wooden, wooden design as well as like a faux sweater. That's cute. Okay, you guys know I'm obsessed with gingerbread. These are really cute, but I think I'm doing like the green gingerbread theme this year. So, not so much the red. These are pretty. $12.99. Is there anything new? I may do these. Or I gotta look in my stash to see if I have those already, because I may have those. But, ooh, look at that. Oh my God. If they come out with the gingerbread, um, like houses that they did with like the Valentine's Day ones, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that. Those are cute though. I thought that's what this was, but they're ornaments. Speaking of garland, there's a specific garland that I'm looking for. I like this one. I'm not a big fan of the glitter. There's one down here. I just don't want it to have any red in it. And that has like the little berries in it. It's pretty, but I just need it to be all green. I don't like the gold. Maybe it's not out yet. If I were into the red, that would be really pretty. That's like super vibrant. I see something else I need. Look at that little gingerbread family up there. I need that. All right, now I'm torn between that burgundy one, plum colored one, and this one. I don't know now, now that the house is black, either of these would work, but I really like that plum colored one because it stands out. I don't know how much is the price may make a difference. Let's see how much this one is. 37 so that'll mean it's like $20 compared to 30 oh these are so pretty I love this color I'm actually trying to do a DIY with some beads that look like this but I can't find the beads how stinking adorable are these $7.99 I'm curious if they come in any other colors because those are just beautiful. There's more stuff coming out. Look at this. And then they have the little trees, the little macaroon trees. 49. Yeah, I have a feeling these are gonna go really fast this year. 
because they're so cute. So many adorable things that are coming. I think we saw those already, but even for the tree, look at that. wouldn't utilize the blue or the purple for the girls room but I like this lot but I there's a like the blue I wouldn't utilize so I don't want it to be a waste but I really like that little macaroon tree for Marley's room Tones. It looks like there's a lot more fall coming out. But I love these. How much are they? $15. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I'm in Target. It's for a newborn. Oh my god. Look at this. It says Milk Monster. I can't. Oh, get me out of here. This is too darling. Oh my god, I need a pumpkin. I'm gonna miss this. It's actually my first time in Sam's, but look at this. Can you believe that 10 footer is only $230, $230? That is bananas. Look at this spider. Ooh, $59. These prices aren't aren't too bad. We got some haunted villages for $29. Some stacked pumpkins for $40. Some candy balls for $20. We got Frankie and a kitty. Ooh. What do you think, Dad? They have Disney pillows for all my Disney lovers. All right, guys. So I wanted to share a little haul with you. The majority of this stuff is Halloween, fall. I did pick up some stuff because I am early fall shopping. So I grabbed a few items that I saw that, especially from Dollar Tree. If you see that stuff in Dollar Tree, it's going to be gone. So you might as well pick it up. The first items aren't really... Halloween necessarily but I did pick up Marley some little socks from the Dollar Tree they have not put out their Halloween slash fall socks yet so um, I picked up these they were just a dollar 25 these have little puppies on them and these have little bananas and watermelons and melons on them a dollar 25 just something she could you know wear for school I also picked up a bunch of like hair accessories I don't know if I want to give these to Marley or Addie. Addie, I think, would love something like this. They're just little, uh, they remind me of like the 90s little clips. And I also got a ton of like hair ties. Some, I just, I realized I didn't have a lot of pink ones and a lot of ones with different colors. So I just picked up Marley a ton of these. Next, I grabbed a bunch of stickers. They have the felt stickers here that we like to decorate all of our calendars with. I just grabbed as many as I possibly could. These are really fun. And here's another set of like felt stickers. Great for calendars. I realized I grabbed more hair ties. I like how stretchy these are. These tend to last a little bit longer than the previous ones I showed, but they were really bright and colorful. So I got those from Mars. So I sent Marley or I sent Addie a picture of this when I saw it in store and I was like, hey, do you think you'd like something like this? She's like, oh my God, yes, I would. So I picked up her, the Hello Kitty little sweatshirt. The smallest that they had was a small and this looks really big in my opinion for her. So hopefully she can wear, she can wear it as like an oversized sweater. 
Um, it was, it's originally $29.99, but they go on sale for like $20. So she really liked this when I sent her a picture of it. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna surprise her today. I'm actually gonna leave it on her bed today for when she gets out of school. Spread it on her bed so she can see it. And I wish I could record a reaction, but I won't have the camera set up, so. <laughs> Got that for. I also picked, I don't know why I picked these up. I wanted to do a DIY with them, but in my mind, it's not really working. Dollar Tree, you can't go wrong. I grabbed these just to throw in my little art box because maybe a DIY will come up and I'll have the supplies that I need. I also picked up these little skulls because I was looking for like skulls like this for a DIY last year, could not find any. So I just grabbed two packs of these for just in case. I need them in the future. <laughs> Next from Dollar Tree, I picked up, I've been eyeballing this little grateful sign here. I think it's really cute. It doesn't look like it's from Dollar Tree, honestly. Like, I love this. And Dollar Tree is a hit, hit and miss with me sometimes with a bunch of the, of the decor because sometimes it looks a little cheap. In my opinion, this didn't look cheap and it was $1.25, so. I also picked up this pumpkin punch sign and it just looks like a jar. Um, I thought this was another one that didn't look really, really cheap. So I grabbed this one. Also from Dollar Tree, I miss these every year. Every year they put these out, I'm like, oh, I'll come back and I'll get them. You know, they're not gonna sell out. They used to sell out every year. I learned my lesson. Go ahead and pick up three of them because they are not gonna sell out me on me again. I love these. I actually want to put these in the flower bed this year because I do have like one big pumpkin, but these were really, really nice. This looks like something from Hobby Lobby, so grab those. All right, next I grabbed the brown mat from Hobby Lobby that I was telling you about. Um, I was trying to pair this with one of their like mats, their outdoor mats, and nothing was working for me. Like I thought the orange, like the bright orange pumpkin would look cool on this. I hated it. I thought just the plain mug with just the pumpkin, it had like the pumpkin outline would look cool on it, nothing. I think what would look great on it is just the plain mat with the white, I'm sorry, with the black writing. I think when it says, come, come on in, come on cozy, something cozy. So I think I'm gonna do that one with this because I did wanna change up the mat every year for, um, Thanksgiving and Christmas, I always use the black and white ones. This is the first year that I've seen them with a brown colored one. So I think it would go, I just wanna play off the colors a little more on the porch being that the house is black. I didn't wanna do too much black. The next item I grabbed, I wanted to put this on the bed, but I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll put it on the couch. I love this, I, this isn't new. I know this isn't new. I know this is something that they had last year. Am I wrong? I feel like I saw this last year, but I love this. It just says, you're the pumpkin to my pie. I had to grab this. So cute, such a great fall piece. 40% um, off, kind of expensive for a pillow. Well, no, because Home Goods has their pillows at $20, $25, $26, 40% off. So it's not too bad. At last, I made a decision. I actually need to take it outside to see how I like it on the door. But I went ahead and got the plum colored um, wreath. I just, I love this so much. With me, I have to, like the colors have to match and play off of each other. So I'm thinking with the black house, this wreath would just pop a lot more opposed to opposed to just like a regular brown wreath. Plus, I'm just thinking about the colors of my mom's that I'm gonna do this year. Um, I think I'm gonna add some mom's to my mailbox. You guys know we replaced the mailbox and everything. And I was driving around the neighborhood and I saw this cute little hanging basket from her mailbox and she had some little plants in there. So I'm thinking about getting a small set of plants to throw on my mailbox. But I'm just thinking about the mums next to this vibrant colored reef on the porch, the brown rug, just the cut, like all of the fall colors just playing off of each other, bouncing off that black house. I just think it's gonna be perfect. I think it's gonna be great. Last, I did pick up a set of the um, jumbo black balls. I do want one more box of these because I do wanna add 
at least six of the jumbo balls to the Christmas tree this year. I don't need a lot because I have a ton of velvet balls that I really did honestly didn't use last year. But I just think with that, I think it's a nine foot tree, but the nine foot tree, uh, bigger balls would look better. What? That sounds horrible. That sounds horrible, but y'all know what I'm talking about. I just think that these jumbo balls would look, that sounds even worse. I just think that these would look really, really perfect with this. Now, um, you guys saw earlier in the vlog that the, like they're putting out the holo, Halloween, the Christmas items and like the Candyland theme. I'm so tempted to just buy a bunch of that stuff for Marley's room. The only thing is that collection has a lot of like turquoise blue in it and the turquoise blue just wouldn't match like my color scheme for Marley or Addie's room. But if I can find some like all pink pieces, like those candy canes that were like pink, but they had the purple and the blue. Oh my God. I would just love just the pink candy canes. I wish they would sell that stuff separately. But all of the Christmas is 50% off. Now is the best time to go and look and shop because all of that stuff, girl, it's going to be gone, especially that Candyland theme stuff. That stuff is so popular. They're expanding the line, which is really, really cool because it's so beautiful. I love that stuff. So if you're looking for that stuff, please go out and shop for it now because I guarantee you it will be gone. <laughs> All right, guys, I just got back from picking up Marley. There is a like an excessive heat wave that we're experiencing in the south today. It is so hot. Oh, my God. Um, Justin and I were offered what well, we were asked to be featured in a wedding spread. So um, we are headed out now to get fitted. I have to try on two dresses. And Justin just has to get fitted for a tux because I think he's just wearing like a regular tux. But um, that's fun. Like we're going to be featured in a spread. That's really cool. I got out of clothes to get into clothes, because but it's so hot. I just want to walk around in my undies all day. But um, I have to find something to wear really quick. So I'll see y'all at the fitting. soaps that are $2.95 and I needed to stop so let's see what we're getting I didn't know a lot of the fall stuff like the decor was out look at this this candle holder that's cute I'm looking for pecan waffles pumpkin pecan waffles I don't see it but I was tripping I was like where is it Two of those. I can't remember if I like this one. Let me smell it and see if I like it. Okay, it's not bad. I can stock up for Halloween. Smell the vanilla romance and it, I don't know, it's giving me like summer vibes. I thought it was gonna be more folly to my sense, but it's more summer. I don't know why I'm pulling summer from that. It's Saturday. Marley, not Marley, I always mistake my kids. Addie and I just got ice cream. Y'all know I hate going to Home Goods TJ Maxx on weekends but we had to go pick up some dog food and i was like hey let's go get some ice cream and of course she couldn't say no to ice cream so how is it sorry what'd you get 
She always gets the most complicated order. What'd you get? What do you have? It's like a mix of raspberry and sorbet. This is really good. And she's got those little bobo things. Bobo? 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 Bobo. 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 So we're going to do a little Halloween hunting. I've been trying to my airpods in my hair. I was trying to, I was trying to paint your cheek. <laughs> Just grab my hands. Your so. cheekies. All right, let's go. Hello, people. I am in Marley's room. And... We can't take it anymore. We can't take her floors anymore. So we are taking the necessary steps to finally work on her room. I honestly want to get her room done before Halloween so I can decorate. But there's so much stuff that needs to be done in here that I'm already overwhelmed already. I'm gonna put the phone on a time lapse and try to get as much of this done as I possibly can. The backyard needs to be cut. Wow, I didn't realize that. Yeah, it's Justin to bring the dolly in the house. So I could try and haul her chest of drawers out, but that's that's not gonna happen with me trying to maneuver that out. That's not gonna happen. So I'm just gonna have to wait till he gets home. sleep in here tonight because you don't have floors but you don't care do you anywho so yeah all the flooring is up I have to finish painting over here I have to clean this wall up over here I think this wall is okay I think but just a few little paint touch-ups and we are ready to lay these floors. It's a tiny room. I think this is a 10 by 10 room. So let's do this in no time. did the painting waiting for it to dry I just touched up a few spots that were like messy so I didn't have to do a lot paint was still really good her door was what was the challenge I've never seen a more filthy filthy door in my life I literally had to scrub orange peels off of the door why is that? Oh my God. So, her room is prepped. Everything is good. We just have to lay floors, which should be fun. Oh, I got a little paint on her wallpaper. So we tried it on the garage and that's how it looks. It's not bad, but it's not giving me. It actually shows up on your camera. 
camera better, better, better than it does in person. But he shined it on the window. And that actually looks really cool. Like really cool. So for $21 it's not bad, but I think it looks better on <laughs> I think it looks better on the window. <laughs> oh god. Let's see it on the window. Okay. So I may do it on the window this year. Alright guys, I am trying pumpkin spice creamer. Oh my god. I am not a pumpkin spice fan as far as like drinks or pumpkin pie, but I'm in the fall mood and I'm really curious what this tastes like. So we're going to add it to my coffee this morning. Addie really wanted to try it, so hopefully she likes it as well. Almost out of whipping cream. Addy! Daddy's coming. Alright, let's see. Like it? So she likes hers. Let's see if mom likes hers. Uh oh. It's kind of like the coffees that you made. Huh? It's kind of like the coffees it doesn't taste like mm. oh that actually is good just taste the pumpkin spice it's not bad man that tastes like uh the cone like a sunday cone oh yeah cone. yeah so it's not bad it's actually really good i was so afraid to, to try this pumpkin spice, but it's actually good. Oh my god! I may have to get. I may have to get this more often. Mm. I am at Sam's stocking up. Can you believe this entire bottle, which is, how many ounces is this? It really has the ounces on here. Oh, so this is 34 ounces, $14. That is insane. I got some Clorox wipes, cause we were completely out, and some pods for the laundry why haven't I discovered Sam's years ago because this is insane this is literally insane <laughs> all this stuff they're starting with their Christmas decor it looks like they only have ribbon right now of course they have a bunch of Halloween but they have okay I, I would pull stuff out that I can put back like that's really pretty and that's a huge roll Cotton candy. Oops. A bunch of stuff. And they also had these little Halloween books. 
we're kids. I don't know if we're gonna have Marley's room done in time for me to build her a little shelf for her Halloween books, but I know. Oh, these are so cute. I know for like fall and Christmas, it'll be up, but. Oh my God, look. The little jack-o'-lanterns. Plus, I probably need to wait because these are probably gonna go on sale at the end of the, of the um, season. <laughs> 